Hello, how's it going today? You know who it is. I'm not going to get into it. I just want to talk about that performance, right? We were outclassed, but it was expected, right? I know a lot of people might have said, are you a negative from the start, blah, blah. Yeah, because I've seen the Liverpool matches. I've seen the one where they played against Brentford. And they were quick. They looked better than how Klopp was with them, right? I'm not saying that, oh, you know, Klopp's won stuff. Yeah, I know that. But... This guy, their manager Arnie Sot, sort of has made these up play quick, intense football. The pressurizer is quick. I don't remember Klopp being that intense, apart from when he was about to go for the quad in 2021. That is probably that was one of the times where I've seen Liverpool play like that. How did they play today? And you know what? It was easy. Right? And I said, Liverpool's going to come here and they're going to cruise it. You know why? Because this manager's inherited a title winning team. This Their manager is perfect for this team. Right, pressurising, good possession. And to be fair, that's they played United they played for United quite easily. They played we can we can have I mean the first few minutes I thought we were good, ten, fifteen minutes. I thought okay, we can nick a goal, but I knew what was coming. I watched it expecting it to happen. And people were saying, you know, we could do this, we could you'll forget we haven't been the title race for years. Right? We haven't been anywhere near close to City. So of course we're gonna struggle. Like, people don't understand that. Liverpool's been fighting for titles for like, years now. So, of course, they're going to be having a team that's going to be up for every single game. And people talk about, oh, United's a big club, you should perform. Liverpool is a big club. But where were they when, when Klopp first took over for the first few years? Nowhere. And I remember Klopp getting beaten at City 5 no, getting beaten at United, getting beaten at Watford 3 no, getting beaten at Newcastle 2 no, getting beaten and drawing at home to West Ham and them not back in that time. But no one ever criticised him for that. They kept him, the fans believed in him, and they backed him, right, and he finished 8th. Same with how what Ten Hag's got to deal with. His first season finished 3rd. You know, second season, that season, yeah, it was poor, finished 8th, right? First time. But teams have finished 8th before. You don't hear them complaining most of the time. Yeah, they want their manager out, but they keep him. Like, and we're, we're going to be laughed at just because, what, we got beaten by a, a good team that a team that expect us to lose to? And I backed these for the title. Everybody's saying they won't win it. What players do they need? They got Chiesa, who I think is a good buy. That's it. But they didn't need anybody else. They got enough team there just to actually beat City at home and away. No joke. And Arsenal away. If they don't win the title, I'll be surprised. And our season will not be defined by what I've just seen today. We're playing against Liverpool, right? Our season will be defined by teams like Fulham, West Ham. We've got to beat those teams. You know, when you see that 3 no score, people think, oh, they cruised it, which they did. But the goals only came from the only shots on target. Let me get into it, right? Let me break it down. So we we didn't have any, any opportunities. You know, we got had Rashford, who I thought poor. You got Xerxes, who I thought was atrocious. But he could be he could be a good player in the future. Mainly was disappointing, coming a substitute. Fernandez non-existent. Couldn't see him. The lit, the Sandro Martinez were okay. Casemiro. First little poor goal, right? First Diaz goal. He headers it in the net, right? And Casemiro gives it away. So you think, okay, we need to get tighter when you get through him. Liverpool didn't have to play that well to actually beat us, which was concerning. Because I think if that was like a City or Arsenal, yeah, that's probably going too far earlier. They probably would have given him more of a goal. Of course they would. But when you're not fighting for a title, you're going to play like this. This is a concern for us, though. The structure needs to be better on this one. The defending was similar to the one at Brighton. A better defence there... We could have, what, drawn that game nil nil with a better defence? Like, first shot on target, boom, goes in the net, easy. Right, they did have an offside goal before that. Fair enough, it was definitely offside. And they were sloppy as well, this Liverpool team. We were very sloppy, but they were sloppy as well. But we made it easy. We stood back then like we were an invincible defensive team. Like, okay, no one can score past us. Sorry, you can't score. That's not how to work it, though. When we lost the ball, we didn't work hard enough. Liverpool are quick with it. It was almost as if, like, Liverpool knew that they weren't going to be good today, but they could still score past us. That's a concern, right? Second goal, again, poor. I don't even want to go through it. Casemiro gives it away again, but he didn't actually didn't give it away. He got shoved off the ball easily. Just a tap and he goes down. And in then they score from that. I don't want to go through that. Man. I even forgot what the second goal was like, man. It was, I, I can't believe that. You know, then we thought, okay, we have a bit of a tempo here. We got sadly into the game. And Delict has a shot. Boomkeeper saves, of course. Any other day that would have went in for us. 
that could have been. We would have been going in 2 1, which wouldn't have been that much of a disaster. Going in 1 0, we had the opportunity. But going in 2 0, that's it. It, would, it was over with. Like, the Silva team has a strong defence this season. If they concede one goal this season, I'd be shocked. I would, I would even expect Arsenal City to score past them. But come on, their defence looks better than Klopp's, than how Klopp was with them last season. New manager bounce on them is working. And their team's strong enough already. Lucky managed to come in, you know, and does that. Like Old Trafford, you know, puts on a, a defensive masterclass, to be fair. City's done that before. Arsenal has. There's no surprises. Second half, the same. I guess Liverpool dominated. And I think, who was it? Sad or somebody else scored for Liverpool? I kind of forgot who scored now. It was easy when the net, though. I didn't have it. To be honest, that was the only shots on target from Liverpool. You know, they had shots that was over. They could, they didn't finish off. But to be fair, we did damage limitation. It was too late. If, if it was at 2-0 and we, we did score a goal, it would have made it interesting. Then we had opportunities. That's when the opportunities came. You got Xerxes, head of it, but keep the saves. You had him just shooting, but went wide. You had another shot from us, which probably went wide. Which, to be honest with you... Which wasn't really going in. It wasn't going in for us. It wasn't our day. I don't know what to say. I mean, it wasn't our day at all. I was just like, yep, it's not going in. Their keeper didn't have to do much to save those, actually. It should have been 3-2, actually, to be quite honest. Those moments right there. But what happened? It wasn't going for us. You know, I mean, that's... I don't know. Our season won't be defined by teams like Liverpool. It won't this season. And I've got to say, the previous two games we played better. We actually had opportunities. But this one here just showed its class difference. I'm not going to clap the ball for me. That's a bit, bit weird. But you know what? I'm going to say well done. I mean, I do feel like we're not going to finish eighth, as people may think. It's the third game. I'm not really that much. I'm disappointed, but I'm not really going to invest in it too much. Because I know we're going to bounce back from that. It depends when. But that's okay. But we're going to get laughed up. You know, Ten Hag, would he be out? He's not going to be out right now. Wait till Christmas and see what happens. As long as he delivers another trophy, then yeah, we would be laughing even more. But if, we, if, we, if we're going to keep him in it, get him more trophies. I hate, that's what he's there for. But the league form needs to change. And yeah, we got on these players. Like, you know, we got on Xerxes, De Ligt. I mean, we got Matsuawi, but yeah, we still poor defensive. We need a proper structure. Like, yeah, people are going to be laughing. Like, everyone's going to be laughing. I like, say, now nah, look at United. Keep laughing. You laughed us last season when we were finished eighth, but we won the FA Cup. So keep laughing. If we win the trophy this season, this won't matter. But I do. I did expect us to compete somewhere in the top four this season. There's still enough time for that. There's still plenty of games. But you know what? I'm not going to sweat on this one. It's, it was expected. Teams that they open see are going to be us. We don't have enough. In, we don't have a strong enough team. And I was speaking to somebody today saying, oh, Stock, you saying stock don't need time? Well, what time does he need? He's with players that compete for leagues and trophies. He don't need time. Like he's already, he's already got a team that already knows and has experience with it already. Our team keeps rebuilding and keeps buying new players, selling players. What more do you need? Like that, that's enough to tell me that Ten Hag needs time to work with and find a proper structure. Get rid of him now. You can employ a caretaker. That don't work out for teams. Like this is the thing, and I think that's why the club stick with Ten Hag, because if he delivers trophies, what's the issue? All he needs is to deliver Premier League, and he's okay. No one criticizes him for that. Maybe, I mean Arsenal. Arteta has been still been kept, even though he should have got rid of during, you know, that season. His first season was atrocious, but it's proved that time time is worth it. If it, I'm telling you now, if we get back to back apes. I know what the media would say. Oh, United's coming eighth place again. Oh no. Not the only team to do that, are they? But yeah, it's disappointing. Um Ternog was clapping. Maybe clapping because the fans have stayed to be fair. But yeah, expected. I don't have people think we're gonna work hard against them not today. I mean this is the same opportunity that's won trophies before with the previous manager. So it was like he left it in a bad state. You know, with us, we still need work. The structure clubs in I keep telling people this. We Ten Hag needs time to get the structure right. We've got to stick by your manager at all costs, no matter what happens. Arsenal did look at that turnout. 
Chelsea are still sticking by, you know, they're going to be, they should be sticking by their manager this season. They bought a lot of players, they should be okay this season. Even though they drew, shockingly, they drew, and Arsenal drew against Brighton. City cruised their West Ham Harden hat trick, which is a player that we need. You know, when you got them fighting for the league, of course, you're not going to be nervous. You got um, Tottenham that knocks that Newcastle, shockingly. I mean, they, they dominated that. Tottenham should win that 5 6 1. Don't know how they didn't win it, but it just proves if you don't take opportunity in football, that's what happens. You have um like Forest joining against Wolves. Um Everton. Wow. Tune it up at home to Bournemouth and you still lose. I mean, that's one of the teams I'm expecting like to beat. If you don't beat them, it'll be shocking. You know, you've well, who else did you have to I think that was most of the matches anyway. Um, I think that's it for today anyway. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give a like, comment, share, you know, subscribe, hit the button, finish the bell. As I see you in my next video.